Several years earlier. Remember that gate? And that was fine. I'm pretty sure you do. That that's basically hey. what happened after, right after we beat the mother. You miss a Kosugi. Me protagonist. Oh, who the fuck is she supposed to be? Her daughter. Who's daughter? I mean, his daughter. The previous protagonist's daughter. Ah. Oh, look, some of the old artifacts we got. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In case you were wondering what happened to them, yeah, we just kinda kept them. <laughs> Sounds about right. Hey, we know her. Yeah. And so what has she been doing with herself ever since leaving? Well, clearly getting into trouble. And yes, she did just fall. <laughs> Why does Mulbrook have a knife? Eh, ah, details. The seated body, the ninth spirit. Oh, good to know Mulberg seemed to have adapted to leaving the temple after hundreds of years. Yeah. Alright then. Hello everyone. And welcome to La Mulana 2. I'm Ram Giacomo, and as usual, that gets here to watch me suffer. And we landed. Yay! I love this game so much more than the previous one. For starters, we can do this. Yay! Actually controlling our jumps! <laughs> <laughs> now what is an archaeologist without a whip? Of course. Menu is um, a bit larger. I am mildly entertained by the fact she has a uh, American flag bandana. Yup. Also, instead of a computer, we have a tablet now. And because I've already done literally everything in this game before, I got a few outfits. Kim. Ah. Okay then. There's that one. Uh, <laughs> um. And there's that one. Because of course there is. <laughs> we'll just have the normal one for now. He's going to have enough, a bit of money now, huh? Yeah, like there's labels and shit. Hot spa! Also, he's got a castle. Yeah, that too. <laughs> they moved the um shrine thing. He's got bitches too. Yup. Yeah. Hey, you made it! I'm Selput, elder of the tourist village of the La Mulana ruins. Yeah, it's a tourist bruh. village now. <laughs> bruh, 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 I have many questions. My first one is... What the fuck is Master Roshi even smoking here? We finally managed to turn the the ruins into a tourist spot, and now we've been getting reports of unknown monster sightings. So I sent a letter to your dad, the archaeologist, asking him, asking him to come investigate. So how, how come he sent his daughter? You, got, you can't get a hold of your dad? So you break into archaeology and immediately surpass your dad, huh? What a weird family. Anyway, the request was for finding out just what is going on in in the Lamolana ruins, and then take care of whatever that problem was. If you can handle it yourself, that's fine with me. You must have completed your dad's ninja training by now, right? <laughs> that amuses me way too much. Can... He's fucking Master Roshi, but he can yeah. actually land a bitch. Right. Also, it's not, <laughs> also, it's not just a family of archaeologists. It's a family, family of ninja. ninja archaeologists. <laughs> I mean, it makes a lot of sense after the last game. 
Apparently, the monsters have been coming from the depths of the ruins. With all this danger, nobody's gonna wanna come here anymore, and we're gonna lose all our business. Figure out the guys, son. Make sure those monsters never come, never come out again. But with my being such a gentleman and all, I'm gonna do you a favor and help a cute little girl out. Let me that tablet real quick. This is my very own homegrown messaging software. I'll send you helpful hints and stuff to help out with your investigation. When you hear a funky little bit notification, you hit the pause button and check out the tablet. You can thank me later. So bother, quiet. You wanna hear that again? Nope. No. Oh, really? Really? <laughs> <laughs> So, now the messages are here. Good morning, Viet Milana! <laughs> You'll get messages from, from me here, like this one. I can see where you are using your tablet camera. I'm gonna teach you the ABCs of adventuring. I'm such a gentleman. Yo, Roshi, that's a little sus. Try wandering around the ground a bit before entering the ruins. It will be good practice. Don't leave me hanging. Read your messages. Also, if you go right there back in, what's up, what, you want some money or something, huh? Here you go, press some of this, help with making it rain! It just gives you money. Yep. Uh, I want to say he infuriates me. I already deleted all my saves, believe it or not. Tapping that looking stone tablet there. It's called the Holy Grail tablet, and it can hold memories. What that means is you can save by pressing the up button in front of the tablet. You better make sure to read what's written there too. Come on, promise another man. Well, we don't have reading stuff yet. Oh, hello you. You've um, grown your family a bit. Apparently. In case you're, you don't remember who she is. Oh, I remember who she is. <laughs> The kids entertained. Yep. You wanna get weird on your ass? <laughs> I'll actually get that actually. And, um, I just the fuck. The fuck is with this village? Yes. So it's like, hey, oh god. Have you bought the map up for from neighbor yet? The app is used to manage your maps, but you gotta collect the maps yourself. The maps of the ruins are hidden in each side. Maps from a walkaround and the Lambrana ruins? I got those. Come and get them if you want. Load apps from the admin on your tablet. Ah. So he's got the old maps. Yeah. Also. At least it wasn't wasted. They kind of expanded the uh, spring there, didn't they? Yeah. There's one of my village's famous hot springs. It will bug you right up. Restores your health, too. What a time with that, but take your clothes off first. Huh? <laughs> Yo, Roshi, stop being sus. It's just like... It's like they're like, so... We sent this guy in, not truly knowing if he was actually going to succeed. And he kind of, you know, just brought down the entire ruin. So what do we do with it now? Let's make it a tourist trap! A big ascent on the hill is where Sedana lives. El Sedana was one of the four philosophers. They headed up the ceiling of La Mulana, and he was their top guy. Now he's old and lives in peace and quiet. Don't forget to go say hi. Motherfucker, well, like you ain't old. Yeah, that's what the feather used to be. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Basically. At least the big blue eye guy yeah. isn't there anymore. Yeah, you know, go get a surfer. I mean, to be fair, even if he was. Oh, what a charming young visitor. I'm Osedana. I'm one of the four philosophers who once controlled death itself. Now, as you can see, I just lay in wait for that to come. I've heard about you from the Elder, but there isn't much I can do to help. Phobos and Samaranta. Two of the younger philosophers are inside the ruins. You should pay them a visit. Since you've come all this way to see me, I'd be happy to tell you whatever you'd like to hear about the old days. Cool. Anything else to say? If you go deeper in, there's an altar out past this house. I really like that place. 
I sort of insisted on living here since it's close by. At altar is used for village festivals and rituals, for example funerals and such. I've been sleeping down in the ruins for so long, I'm happy to be able to die up here above ground. That's depressing. Yup. That's the philosopher of death for you. And to be fair, he's talking... It's talk like, uh... Old Roshi there hasn't been around for God knows how long. Right. Like, I'm pretty sure he... I'm pretty sure he's as old as the philosophers. Maybe? Yeah, there's still think... selling a gun over there. Yeah. But more importantly, has can also paper. Why? You might need to make someone sneeze. Already as shopping, huh? You can use some items by equipping them and pressing the item button. And there's more out there than run of the mill hand scanners. The ruins hold key, tre key treasures, weird items you gotta put someplace, all kinds of stuff. Bring them to me, I'll tell you what they are, if I can't at least. Yeah, and like, to be fair, if the big blue guy was back, you could just, you know, go home and, uh, get the staff. Yeah, because I, I mean, you do. It, it is you You did keep them at the end of the game, after all. Yeah, at least father did. Yeah, so it's very possible you just go home and pick it up. Oh, oops. Well yeah. done. Still can't get up there, or rather not anymore. Oh come on! I'm just trying not to fall into the hole because yeah, you can. Like balancing beams now, but if you jump or attack, you fall. <laughs> construction ongoing. We are busy repairing the structural collapse of the ruins. Then you have construction. Samaranta. Well, he is making himself useful. Great Elder statue. <laughs> These ruins and the village owe all their prosperity to the Great Elder. Don't knock or climb the statue. Well, so what do I feel like that's something you need to do? Hey now, leave my side shoot the hell alone. <laughs> I don't remember if I needed to hit the head or not. I think I might have needed to hit the head. I don't think you can get the head from here. Uh, I'll shoot that off later then. Fine. Clunk. Still has a... Looks like she's got her father's uh, fall damage resistance. Yep, entrance to Lamorana Rocks. What's your stuff? Also, you know, be your souvenir from Neighbor's Ship. Wait, which one was Neighbor again? Crazy Woman. Ah. Right. <laughs> Come on, how many times have you played these games and I remember that? Fair enough. Face Mira. There are several face mirrors, but they're not sometimes. They contain mechanisms to make the eyes glow. But it is some in effect at the current time. The reason for the model's construction is unclear. Please head down towards. Warning, please do not jump off, off the edge unless you are a qualified ninja or archaeologist. If any archaeologist can just take it. Spread gate. Similar to the candy inventor of Valley Island, but decorated differently. It's thought to have been built in tribute to the creator of the Lamulana ruins. But these claims are unverified. There are also tells that people emerge from here once, but these claims too, I don't verify. I think they get all this information. Well, well they are from the seven species. Yeah, and don't forget Mulberg knows like 30% of all knowledge. Something like that. Lamulana Ruins Dictionary, the mural of departure. A mural thought to be depicting the history of the Lamulana Ruins. Though these claims have not been verified, the ruins through through the gate on the right are known as the Guide of Guidance. Really We've been there a few times. To be fair, we didn't spend that long there. Unless you can't all the time I went going into the hell temple. <laughs> <laughs> Though it's looked better. Yeah, that there's the ruins of Lamorana. Back in the day, your dad explored and, well, destroyed the place. Reconstruction is ongoing, but keep going down and you'll get to the mausoleum of the giants, where monsters have been spotted. 
Don't go anywhere weird then, you should be fine. What damn it, I said to investigate the place, not to jack it all up. I'm trying to tourist the place up, you know? Also, map. It's a... yeah, it's a bit broken up. Also, yay! <laughs> also that. So nice, right? Also, yeah. That's a thing. This is it? What? It's one of those La spiders to take oh, a stick. Oh, Lama Lana. <laughs> it's one of those things that you stick your head through. Yep. The best of the, of the ruins are pitch black. They were once lit by undying flames. But these flames winked out when the ruins collapsed. Warning, there are bats in the ruins, so we'd appreciate it if you'd kill them for us. Still have a bat problem. Yep. Also, yeah, let's see how they've been putting lights everywhere and... Yeah, lights and scaffolding and everything. Yeah. Whee! One, two, three, four, five, six. I count six children. Shellhorn acquired. Hey, we know that one. Yep. You get the shellhorn. I mean, it is one of the artifacts on display in the ruins, so... Eh, whatever. I'm such a gentleman. I'll give it to you anyway. The shellhorn lets you know once you've solved one of the ruins, Mr. Eastwick. With this sound, that sounds kinda like, Mr. Eastwick! Right. He's talking a trap, and it makes a sound kinda like, That's a trap! That's a trap! Treasure chest. There are many treasure chests hidden through the ruins. You will need to undo the mechanisms clocking them. For example, this chest can be unlocked. A little by light there, the... Rex. Mm -hmm. I was commenting on the fact that it told you how to solve the puzzle you just solved. Yeah. Well, I count six children. The first children. Reconstructed based on surviving records and recovered fossils. A race with snake like lower bodies. Thought to, to, to have been. Re resemble the model more closely than any other. Many aspects of the race are a mystery, as there are few records on them. Well, now that you mention it, the ghost you fault. Mm-hmm. Huh. You know, the spirit of the mother. Yeah. The second children. A reconstruction of the race known as giants. This race, which is said to have been constructed nearly... To have constructed nearly the entirety of La Morana is relatively well documented, allowing for detailed reconstructions down to the accessories they wore. There are many statues in place of the giants, but it's unclear exactly how giant they were. The third children. Reconstructed based on, survi based on surviving records and recovered fossils, this race had bird-like wings protruding from their backs. Analysis of the remains suggests a drastically different physical makeup from modern man. Including slender bodies turned for, turned for flight and long limbs. They are distinguished by the long, backwards arcing crest that stems from their heads. The four children, reconstructed based on surviving records and recovered fossils. Records note they had fish bodies, but whatever that means, they were fish bodied or humans with fish like feet, sure, it is unclear. The, the recorded history is remarkably sparse, suggesting they were not significantly intelligent. The fifth children, reconstructed based on surviving records and recovered fossils. They had a body structure that closely resembled modern man, with evidence suggesting they were, were of shorter stature. Records detail that they established some means of creating life itself, pointing towards extreme intelligence. They created the six children. The six children, spawned by the fifth children's life-creating device, the Tree of Life. We've heard that name before. <laughs> mm. They were born by imbuing clay bodies with life. Their vast numbers splintered into warring factions. All analysis suggests they were almost physically indistinguishable from modern man. Six distinct races are thought to have lived in La Mulana. These races are called the Feast first to sixth children. The expression children comes from the fact that their mother, the Mulana, created them. Incidentally, we villagers are the seven children, and your patrons are the eight. Hmm. I was wondering if it was going to mention that. Oh, 
on search and ongoing, we are busy reviving the structural collapse of the ruins. Then year, do not enter. Eh, whatever. Well, I've never seen someone whip a bat so hard. Yeah, we can also just jump to draw from stairs. That's also nice. You know, that face looks a little different than I remember it. Yeah, it actually has the bottom of the face now, so I guess I put that back. <laughs> Valuables. Yeah, Bases often have coins and weaponry inside. Some bases, such as the one above, are out of immediate reach. Perhaps, perhaps there were ancient forerunners who could jump their way up. You know, here's the real question. Assuming it goes by the logic that her father was very thorough in his work, where are all these vases coming from? They just replaced them. <laughs> <laughs> There's a striking resemblance to the mural discovered in the um, Olmequera La Venta ruins in Mexico. It appears to be a human riding a dragon shaped machine. Um, I hate you. I hate you, Palenque. <laughs> I've already forgotten. Also, Archaeology Dictionary, Ancient Mayan Airship, bears a striking resemblance to Volmetera artifacts found in Mexico. Looks at once like a decorated flute and a man riding an airship. Uh, Palenque is the one that we need the golden airplane to fight. Oh, see, I don't remember their names. He's the one who tries to kamikaze you. Mm hmm. And it took you like five tries to figure it out how to knock him back. Yeah, I, fo I had forgotten. Also, do notice there's two of them. Yeah. We've only killed one. Mm hmm. The ruins are labyrinthian. The Roman Teles, for example, cannot be reached conventionally by human means, unless that human is capable of jumping in incre incredible distances. Warning, don't attempt a jump unless you are absolutely certain you can. Only a certified ninja or archaeologist can make the jump. <laughs> there needs to be a, an extra line literally stating, stating uh, Disclaimer, we do not accept reliability for any deaths your idiocy causes. The elevator is out of order. There's a fucking elevator. Yeah. Holy Grail. The chest above contains an artifact known as the Holy Grail. It said that reading a Holy Grail tablet will record its location to the Holy Grail, allowing you to instantaneously recall your very being back to said location. It's a priceless artifact, so best patrons not to handle it. Also, there's something shining on the right. We cannot get to it yet. Hmm, don't say. Sorry, but the shop is not open yet. I'm thinking of opening up once things calm down a bit. If you're inspecting the ruins, I'll give you a, a helpful tip. You see the treasure chest outside the shop? It can be opened by hitting it from below. There's helpful stuff inside. Indeed there is, as we've already learned. Holy Grail, the acquired. Uh oh! You opened the treasure chest of the Holy Grail? Hmm, it's a precious display item, you know. But it's necessary for the investigation, so what are you gonna do, huh? I'm a pretty late back guy, aren't I? If you have the Holy Grail, you can work places, it's awesome! You know the Holy Grail tablet near my castle? The thing just for saving, you can work to places where those are located. It's basically a special item you can use to come hang out with me. No. No. I think you have enough attention as it is. Money! Right way under construction following the collapse of the ruins, which I had nothing to do with, by the way. Feel free to crawl over the rubble and climb on the girders. Yeah. Well, no, you didn't have anything to do with it. It had everything to do with her father. Minor details. Ah, so Liam of the Giants, ahead. That was fast, huh? A lot faster than the last time. 
Mas olhamos de Jaias. Esta é uma ruins como tem em Slunimens de Jaian Rice, de Second Children. E extensive damage to the mass of the giants is still under repair. Please watch your step. Yeah, that one's also missing a few pieces. No kidding. Well, it's kind of funny though, and I didn't expect this out of myself. I actually can recognize the room though. Right. It gave me a bit of nostalgia when I first came here. Like, I know this place. Yeah. Also, you probably didn't notice, but there's one important tablet missing from this room. No, I don't notice. It was moved down don't... there. Huh. Never sky disk. An, astron an astronomic mural with carvings of the sun, moon and stars. It can be inferred that the forerunners who lived in the Lamorana ruins had a sophisticated grasp of astronomy. The mural contains records of successful communication between the forerunners and the extraterrestrials. Alien. Anyway. Cursed tablet. The tablet ahead is cursed. It said that those who dare to read it twice will meet with misfortune. It was relocated here for safety, as all signs, su signs suggest. Its course is still active. Warning, do not read it under any circumstances. You're gonna read it. Hello, Hermo Tablet. Bye bye, Hermo Tablet. <laughs> what? It's the Hermo Tablet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nope. <laughs> At least one of the giants is still standing. Cebu statue. Let the nine giant siblings. Cebu is the eldest brother, said to have attempted to maintain peace between his siblings through their conflict. This may be why he is immortalized as a figure holding up the earth. Yeah, if, all, if any of them were still gonna be standing. Uh, we can't get there. Or there. Yet. That was a side icon. Warning! Repairs have not been completed beyond this point. In the end, interest of safety. Please proceed your journey here. Please record your journey here before moving on. Miguela and Futo statue. Miguela, Futo, Bado and Ledo were known as the Star Giants. Their goal was to leave the ruins and venture to space. Murals have been unearthed as suggest they communicated with extraterrestrials. Also, hey, smooth scrolling! Holy shit. Vado statue, said to have been the first to fall in the battle against the moon giants. That's important. Also, it's not so bad being a skeleton. I've made a lot of friends. Look at all the roaches. I made it deeper into the ru into the ruins than Ed Roach. I'm pretty sure those were Kickstarter backers. <laughs> because. Uh, La Mulana 2 was actually kickstarted. <laughs> One case in which that's actually gone well, huh? Yeah, I know, right? Leto statue, said to have been killed when stabbed through the chest by the moon giant Sakit. Theory suggests she wanted to escape to the surface, not only out of principle, but because she dreamed of seeing the sun. Note, Leto statue is undergoing repair. The head is less complete than at time of discovery and research into restoring it is on the way. Smooth scrolling is nice. Save the game. Did you notice it? Yeah, the music stopped. Sinful year has trained you well. <laughs> yeah. Rebu statue. The statues in this room are of a group of giants known as the Moon Giants. This one, Rebu, was executed for colluding in the Star Giants rocket development. Hello there! Ow. That's good. Yeah, that's a name, huh? 
say. He just fucks stuff. Okay then. Oh well. Yes, Tacho. Moon Giants, those who wanted to remain living in these lands of La Mulana, revolted against the Star Giants. It said that the Moon Giants prayed for the conflict to come to an end. Sakit Tacho. Sakit is attributed with sparking the conflict between the Giants when he attacked Lego. The tale of how he embedded a key imbued with his power into Leda's body before falling into slumber continues to captivate imaginations generations later, but Sakit's motives remain a mystery. P.S. Yes, Sakit's statue is under repair. No shit, it's surprising it's still standing. Yeah, you know, after a throwdown. A few gunshots? <laughs> yeah. How about the statue? The last giant to have lived, credited with leaving a record of the giant's history to the future. P.S. About the statue is on the rubber. No shit! Hey, awesome. Hello! Hello, Samaranta! What a great help, I think. You defeated a squirrel monster. What impressive power. My apologies, fighting is not exactly my forte, so I stayed hidden. My name is Samaranta. I am one of the seven children, and was once one of the four philosophers. However, as well as the I'm I'm reading faster than you are, so. Oh. Well yeah, I'm trying to read out loud. However, as one of the younger members, I've been assisting in post collapse inspection and the restoration of the ruins. I had planning on visiting the Fairy Queen, who still resides in secret deep within this place, but at this rate repairs don't look set to finish remotely soon. The elevator above has been repaired. It connects to the gate of guidance, so Pass through the gate and head towards the gate of illusion. There you shall meet with another of the four philosophers, oh, no. Phobos. It is believed that the phenomenon, phenomena occurring within the ruins has something to do with the Dieglana ruins, aka the other side of La Mulana. That huge squirrel seems to have worked here to the mausoleum of the giants from somewhere else. If it came from Eglana, then that the cause of these problems may also lie there as well. So no, it's it. No, it's it. it might it might, have, it might have jumped over from the from the um, graveyard of the giants, right? No, no, he's not referring to the backside. Eglana is something else. Huh. Also, in case but you the gate of but just... the gate of illusion is the backside. Yep. Also, you might not remember, but this was the way over to the endless corridor. Huh. Still kind of dig, trying to dig that out. Yeah, so you know, Fady Quinn. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Oh, great, Titania's still around. Well, of course. Wondered what happened to her. I mean, we knew what happened. We figured, we sort of know what happened to Molebrook. She's apparently getting up to mischief after bugging out. Mm-hmm. Yep. First the gate. Thank goodness is still open. Get the illusion to its um, its in better days. <laughs> you don't say. I'm glad. It's like I for one am glad. Yeah, and, and every area has the same theme right now. Mm-hmm. Because it's Whack. basically just the surface thing. Remember that statue? Yeah. The remember tower. how I? <laughs> yeah, it's like remember how I specifically mentioned. To remember, it was called the statue of the child. <laughs> who are you? Ah, it's the daughter oh, of the man who solved the mystery of the Lamolana ruins, I see. <laughs> I am, okay. I am Phobos of the Four Philosophers. Since being freed from the Lamolana ruins and completing my duty as a philosopher, I've been living here. I'm trying to recreate the ruins that were destroyed and the relics that were lost when your father solved said mystery. Anything I'm able to re properly recreate, I send off to the shops in these ruins. So do me a favor and buy whatever you can. <laughs> I've received most of the pertinent details from Samaranta. It seems that monsters have begun appearing in La Mulana once again. With the defeat of the entity known as the Mother, the La Mulana ruins were supposed to have become simply that, just ruins. The monsters spotted by Samaranta apparently had the ability to move freely through space. That leads us to believe that it came from the lands of, of exile of Eglana. Though we know nothing about it or the, other than it exists, I assume you have questions for me, yes? 
What is the model? La Molana ruins were constructed inside a huge living entity known as the Mother. It is said to have fallen to this planet from the skies long ago and gave birth to its progeny for the purpose of creating a workforce to send, to send it back into space. Those progeny are us, mankind. We four philosophers are of the seventh group to be born, known as the seven children. We sought death for the mother, who had continually destroyed each generation of our children. What are the children? Children refers to the various races born from the mother. Each race was created by the mother in order to work to send her back to space. But upon realizing that each subsequent generation was flawed in some way, she systematically destroyed them. It is said that she bore eight distinct races each of which was born inside the mother and subsequently spread up above ground upon developing civilization inside the Mulena ruins. This is why the Mulena ruins are referred to as the cradle of all civilization. Modern humans, by the way, are part of the group known as the Eight Children. The race was born from a life-giving machine called the Tree of Life, into which we seven children imbued their own memories and mind in order to create you. Eilana is known as the child of La Mulana. The child references something to mind. Step aside for a second. This is called the child statue. I live here precisely because looking at this statue inspires my research. In the La Mulana ruins there isn't much else with a similar name, so look into it. Sure, I look into it the way any archaeologist would. <laughs> what? It just shrugs. My inspiration. Mm -hmm. The gate won't open. Let me try. Huh, it opened. Hmm. It would appear as though it, would it will only open for those possessing the mother's power. For a seven children like myself, it easily open. But for an eight child without the mother's memory, such as yourself, I guess it can't be open. I don't know what exactly brought you here, but I feel like it was fate. If the Eglana ruins that we philosophers were investigating really do lie beyond the scale, then the entire world could be in great peril. Ask, and you shall be given. Think, and you shall find. Words of, words of wisdom for those wishing to face the ruins. Come see us philosophers, if you have any trouble. Let me your table a little bit before you go in. This is a type of software that records that are left in the ruins. I developed it myself. If you can find some sort of microchips loaded with data, I'd suggest gathering them. Ruins Encyclopedia Acquired. Codex Acquired. Basically, yes. <laughs> Ah, my inspiration. Also, you might have noticed as well in the apps menu, we have different sets. Oh, what fun. Yay! Ready! It lets me equip a... <laughs> a lot a, faster changing. Yeah, just I can just have a combat set. That's why I need more use because I've been narrating a lot. Rip, rip, rip. In case you're wondering, yeah, the first episode's gonna be pretty long. But, time for the real intro. of Yggdrasil. And so now we ask the pertinent question. 
if the giant spilt, mo <laughs> giant spilt most of La Mulana, who built this? This is false. I just hacked your tablet so that we can communicate. <laughs> when investigating the ruins of La Mulana, I picked up some information on the Eglana ruins as well. They're built similarly, so I'll fill you in on what I can. Welcome, denizen of the Mother's World. This is the world of fools and constant war. A land of battle destined for ruin. Are you the harbinger of ruin? Or do you simply flow in on the tide? You beautiful one, who will never know freedom from struggle. That's totally not ominous at all, right? Who are you? This is Aglana. The land of exile where one can only wait for death. And this place itself is the deepest level of Eglana, the roots of Yggdrasil. Leave this place now if you value your life. Okay then. Well, oh, he's a pleasant one. Guide, Billy. Billy was once a sage. Those who remain at the roots of Yggdrasil were exiled further away than most in Eglana. In his solitude, Billy has begun to crumble in both body and mind. Sixth child. Yup. Tribe Locapala. So of course there's different tribes for each race as well. Which means mother did a pretty shit job at exterminating her children. Yup. A charm. Yes, I think. A one-eyed, single-legged creature. Fachan appeared to have no arms. But there is a single arm concealed within their mouths, which they use to instant prey. They are said to be the degraded form of a goblin-like creature. It even says what their HP is, also. From the top down, is the basics of ruin exploration. If you fall down to the bottom first and can't get back up, you're screwed. How did he get here? Good question. But. What do you find in every arcade? Bats. The Lamulena Ruins, a tourist attraction, is no exception. Bats aren't particularly dangerous, but they can be a nuisance when, you get in, when they get in your hair. They can be difficult to spot hanging from the ceiling, too. It is nice that they even show what they drop, what, how much HP yeah. they have. And they are apparently categorized by... Uh... Hey, Sacred Orb. Ow. Oh yeah, remember the invulnerability frames you had until you landed? Yeah, yeah that's, not anymore. It's like, yeah, that's one. Squade. A rabbit with the wings of a bird. While they can't f truly fly, they are able to jump and execute a sort of gliding motion. Content to press, prance around harmlessly, they are not aggressive towards humans. Well, that was a fucking lie. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, well, one just knocked you into a, a bunch of spikes, so, uh... Looks like the rooms of the ruins have names. Someone give me a map, I'll seriously buy one. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, you can also crouch. <laughs> Unless you hit down further down with the whip as well. Or that can happen. Well done. Skeleton. Lifeless bones to which a soul has returned. They can be attacked and broken, but they will only rise again to hunt you down. Their decayed form feels no pain, so they must be smashed until they stop moving. That's not a problem. The Holy Grail revives memories of lands once visited, hold it in hand, and draws those memories. Your very vein shall be summoned there too. Oh, okay, bye. Pikachu decided he didn't want on your shit. Oh. Yay! Well, those this roots a look a bit backward, don't they? Yeah. It's like, why are the roots pointing upwards, huh? Fuck you too, game. You stood there. Run, run. Falling still doesn't let you control. No, like, you stood there for a second before it... It's dropped. because... I, it made me stop moving. That's what I wanted to get. 
carbuncle. Yep. A small animal with a red jewel plants on it in its forehead. By focusing energy on into the jewel, they can form a ball of light and propel it towards their enemies. Some say the jewel holds even greater powers, which only some of the carbuncle are able to wield. But it looks like it needs a head pad. Indeed it does. This is the roots of Yggdrasil, the roots that connect the world to the land of beginnings. And safe. Well, that's been a fun first episode, it's already been 45 minutes. Whoops. Oh yeah, now it's that button too. No way down. It's a funky uh, transportation menu. Yep, I forgot to read this one. This is known as the Holy Grail Dalet. It has been opened in this village for generations. Examine it, whatever that means, and it will bring back your memories of this place. Basically, you can save your group if you press the up button in front of you. Indeed. So, I hope Even you have fun. I'm sure it was in a different position. Yup. Anyway, hope you'll have fun, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Later.